Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to 2020 Ramadan Clean and Decorate with me. My name is Taiba and today we are going to be cleaning and decorating for Ramadan. I hope you all are doing well and staying home and being safe. So first I'm going to be cleaning my living room. So this is my TV stand. I'm just wiping down some dust and I'm just going to wipe down the TV after that. Now I'm here at my fireplace where I'm going to be cleaning it down and I'm just using my DIY spray I made. So in the DIY spray, I use some vinegar and then half of a water and I just put some essential oil and a little bit of dish soap and I give it a little quick shake and I just like to use that. So I clean my fireplace after that and I'm just going to be vacuuming around my living room. And then this is the cleaner I'm showing that I made and I'm going to be cleaning my sofas with it. And then after that, I'm going to be using the leather cleaner on the sofas and give that some nice shine and polish. Now I'm in my dining area and I will be giving a quick wipe on my dining table and then after that I will be brooming in my dining area and the kitchen and then after that I will be using my Swiffer Jet mop I got from Target actually recently and I really love using this one and I will be just cleaning my living and my first main floor. And I really recommend this guys if you haven't tried it I really like it because I had the Swiffer and I have to keep on changing the pad on it but in this one you just use one pad and you can just keep on spraying wherever it's not wet and then you just use one pad and clean everywhere and you just discard that pad so I really love using this and now I'm just going to be wiping some of the surfaces down in my kitchen and I would love to know have you guys started decorating your home So I know we all have been home for a while and uh, we've been cooking a lot and I have been cooking a lot so I clean my stove regularly but I thought today it needed a deep clean so I wanted to just take out my drill and use it to give it a really nice shine. So I love using my drill brush that I got from Amazon and I really like it. I, I don't use that every day but I just use it about once a week and I just like to wipe it down with the spray again to give it more shine and then after that I'm just going to be wiping down my oven and then my kitchen appliances. And then I also wanted to put these pillowcases I got from Amazon. I already had the pillows but I just found these really pretty pillows and I thought it was a great idea not buying pillows constantly. So I got one in white with pom-poms and green. Got those and I will link them down below if you want to purchase them. Now let's begin with the decorating. So here is the wreath I have made last year and I will link that video down below on the iCard. So I hung that on the main door of mine. Now I'm going to be decorating my coffee table and I just put that runner I already had for about a couple years and I got those two books from Dollar Tree this year and I just wrapped them around with some wrapping paper that was gold and green I already had and I used some stickers to write Ramadan Mubarak and I just put some decorations on top of it. So I'm using my decoration that I made about two years ago I believe, my DIY video that's really popular on my channel and I use the same decorations. The only thing I did this year is just I replaced the red, the red paper with the green stuff. So you see the green lanterns, the green stars, the green masjid everywhere. So this year I wanted to have it a green theme. So if you guys have 
used my ideas and made these banners before so you can definitely change out these stars in the lanterns and change up the different colors and make it a different theme for this Ramadan for your house as well so now we're moving to my kitchen area and I'm going to be setting that up and I just have these white placemats that I got from home goods and I'm just going to be placing some paper plates that I got from Michaels and I also got this beautiful white and gold flatware from Amazon So on my dining table, I placed this basket I got from Target a while back and I also have this Subra and Patience sign in there that I DIY'd this year. So I got that from Dollar Tree and I just placed that green paper in there and I just put those stickers in there and wrote Subra and Patience. And I just have some flowers in there and a lantern and also the Bismillah sign that I made last year. And next to it, I just placed this duas for opening the fast that I have printed out for. And here's another look on the dining table, how everything came out. And then on this side of my dining area, I have this Ramadan Mubarak Masjid. It has like little spots in it. I have showed that before in my videos. I place that there because my kids love that every year. And I also place some books down here for my kids. This one is It's Ramadan by Curious George and Lila's Lunchbox. My first Quran with pictures is a new one I purchased this year from my Instagram. Um, I will leave a link down below. And I wanted to show you how it looked from inside and I'm really excited to read that with the kids. And I also have an oil diffuser next here and I also placed my Sohor and Iftar tracker here. And I love this view from here because I can see through my living room here and then the dining room from the other side. So on this shelf I just have the candles and some fake plant there and I also wrote have, have a healthy and blessed Ramadan this year you guys. And then on my last shelf, I placed my rainbow Quran and my Tazbi. Here is another one of those DIYs I made. So in this one, I wrote blessing and forgiveness. And here is my masjid that I DIYed last year. So for my fireplace, I have these lanterns I found at Home Goods this year um, a while back and I have been saving this for Ramadan and they're so pretty, I really love them and I placed fairy lights in them in there and then next to it is just a little ornament I found this year and a lantern and then that's just a, a paper cut mustard that I made and put that over there. Another one of those DIY I made from Inshallah right there and I also wrote self-control. So the, the theme what I thought about was that what is Ramadan about? I thought about Ramadan is about self-control, forgiveness and blessing and sabr. So that's what I thought about and that's why I wrote those in those little little houses that I got from Dollar Tree. So this is how my fireplace looks. I think it looks so pretty this year. It's pretty simple and unique. Here is another look of the close-up for the coffee table. And then here are the close-up of the pillows that I put out. I really like the green and the white colors. I hope you guys are liking this video. And if this video is just for you to be giving you ideas and um, this is how you can decorate your house. And if you like this video, don't forget to like the video. And definitely subscribe if you're new to my channel. On the TV, I just put these lanterns that I DIY'd last year as well. 
so i just wanted to put them there and i just have this green garland wrapped around some fairy lights and here is a look in the night how the lights will look if you turn off all the lights of my house thought it looks so pretty my kids really loved it and i hope you love this video and i hope you enjoyed the video i wish you all a very blessed and happy ramadan and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye